Right here I'm going to show you a simple uh, optical illusion. I have to make it a little bit bigger. This is not actually animated image, this is just a normal image. It just appears as a GIF, I just haven't resaved it. Anyway, if you look at this, then this is not possible, is it? I mean, if you look at the both uh, triangles, they look exactly the same as you can see. Exactly on the squares, yet you have this in here. You can count the squares, you see, all the pieces are the same. Exactly the same pieces in here. Yet you have this. So how is that possible? <laughs> okay, that's actually easy. Oh, I noticed it. I went by the lines. Obviously this line is same, this line is same. That took just a few seconds to notice, so there must be something wrong with this line. I mean, they are same. You can count the squares, and the squares really are the same. There is no illusion that uh, squared paper like uh, shrinks from the top or something, so the only uh, logical explanation is this line. So if you look closely, this is not a straight line, that actually bends downwards. So these pieces are not exactly the same. You can notice it from, uh, for example, uh, let's see this piece in here. Look how much it cuts off from here, from this square. And now the same square in here, look at that. See? It bends down. Here, it goes right into the corner. Here, the corner is free. And to show you further how uh, to visualize this, I already have Photoshop open. I'm going to open it in Photoshop. <coughs> so I'm going to take this uh, magic tool. Then uh, tolerance should be enough. There we go. Uh, let's see the color mode first. I have to put it on RGB. Uh, yellow should be fine, so I do this. I copy and I paste it. Actually, no, I will go back to here. I have copied the piece already, change it to RGB. And now we will put this uh, overlaying this image in here. Uh, what the heck is going on? It's not moving. I don't know what's going on with the keys. The arrow keys are not. Uh, moving on some reason. Specifically left key, I don't know what the hell is going on. I really don't know why it's doing that. I have to zoom in. You can already see the difference. Yet. Arrow keys are not working, I don't know why. I have to full screen it for a second. Nope. I don't know what the hell. This is so weird. Photoshop have never given up like this. I don't know why. Um... I'm trying to just move it with a mouse. Okay, it's almost. Let's fit it on the screen. If you zoom in just once, nope. And as you can see, these lines are fine, and this one is not. Maybe uh, one up like this. See, there's the difference. And I haven't ex exactly measured. I think this black line might be a little bit thicker to fool you even further. But uh, that's how it's done. So you see, that's where the difference comes from. It doesn't look like it's much, but that's how it comes. Because as you can see, I just put this triangle on top of this one. And also the tool I used to cut it out, it might be missing some of the lines, so it's not accurate. But you see, the difference comes from this bend in here. And now if I zoom it out, it's very easy to notice it. I'm going to just go even further out and look at that. You can see the line in here. This is not straight, this is straight, so... As they say, if you look too close, most likely you're not gonna see what you're actually looking for. Because the closer you look, the straighter this line looks like. But if you zoom out, then you notice know the bend in this line, so... Now you know how it's done.